back to the channel. <clears throat> we got the large scale one six shredder. Once the truggy back out, we're gonna mess around on the uh, skateboard ramp a little bit. Quick bash session. I'm on 4S Lipo. Yes, I got the body on today. I figured out the way. Well, actually, I just had to cut a little bit up out of the back of the body. So the chassis brace can still fit through there just enough to get the body pins on. I didn't feel jump comfortable jumping this without the shell. But it's so it survived the uh couple of six S lipo runs I had and I got some more six S content for it. I might tear down the dips and see how they're holding up before I do that. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Anyway, like, subscribe, share. Hope I don't have my brakes up too high. We'll see. pretty neutral in there. Hadn't really had to make any air adjustments yet. That was a weird landing. Not broken anything on this yet. So it's red cat tough so far. I've been bashing it pretty hard. I jumped, matter of fact, I jumped this truck more than I do some of the smaller scales. Maybe because I have a center chassis brace on it, I don't know. It handles well too. So. about the same 80 degrees maybe. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share want more bashing content. No, y'all don't want to see speed runs all the time. I'm trying to give you a little bit of everything on this channel. I don't have a hundred cars like some of the uh, content creators, but I try to make sure everything on this channel is fast, handles good. It's at least 4S capable, everything I built. Of a 6S lipo series, so I'm trying to 
put all my bills on 6S to see if they can hold up. I think it's probably going to be the Traxxas Slash next. I think that's next on the list. List. I've already ran that on 6S before. I never recorded any uh, of the content though, so I need to get some of that on video. Gave it a little gas, man. If you're new to jumping, it's all about knowing when to hit the gas or the brakes, really. It's seeing how your car is flying. Whether that tail or nose is going to land first. No adjustment there. Shut it down. I'm gonna give you try to give you one full speed run from one end of the field to the other. And it still feels about the same 80 something degrees, maybe. watching everybody. I know y'all have other stuff you could be doing with your day. I appreciate all my day one supporters. Shout out to Team Corrali. Still trying to bring a Team Corrali to the channel. I keep losing all the bids that I enter. The eBay bids. That's it for the shredder, guys. One six, one fifth, whatever. Same size as the X Max XRT or the Ape Scale Creighton. Fraction of the price, though. Feel fine. It's 90 degrees, maybe. Just the homemade chassis bar I put on it. it sits so high on the uh, shock towers, I wasn't able to mount the body. 150 amp. Um, I think that's a hobby wing. Yeah, that's the WP. A BL 150 hobby wing. It's all right so far. No complaints. Already got my cat pack wires on it for a 6S pack. I just don't have it plugged in now. It's a plug and play pack. What I like to use. See, I'm running a series connection for as like both 250, 200 milliamp. I think they're 50 C discharge. Chassis still straight as you can see.
angles pretty good. You know how the uh, Traxxas XRTI, you can kind of slide through corners. Kind of built, tried to build this to be able to do that too. Obviously, I was done building this before the XRT. I finished this build last year.